friends and family of Tripwire, this is Ray LaPena, Director of Communications, and on behalf of Tripwire, I would like to thank all of the veterans out there and wish you all a very happy Veterans Day. I have the pleasure of working with several veterans here at Tripwire, and that includes Maurice Uwanuma, who is joining me today. He is our Vice President of Federal and Enterprise, and a veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom and of Marine Corps Special Operations. Hi, Maurice. Thanks for hopping on to share some perspectives on this Veterans Day. Hi, Ray. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So first off, happy Veterans Day to you, Maurice, and thank you for your service. Um, as a veteran yourself, I was wondering if you'd be willing to share a little bit about your background as, as a veteran. Certainly happy to. Uh, I began my military journey uh, right after high school. Uh, several weeks after graduating high school in California, I proceeded east to Annapolis, Maryland, where I attended the United States Naval Academy. It is a four-year uh, undergraduate university uh, educational training institution that's designed to uh, prepare graduates to be uh, officers in the Navy or the Marine Corps. So it is a combination of uh, academic, uh, physical, professional military training uh, to prepare for a career in uh, the military services. Uh, following my graduation, uh, or upon my graduation, I was commissioned uh, as an officer in the United States Marine Corps, where I spent nine years. I began initially as an infantry officer uh, that included time in Iraq, as you mentioned uh, or alluded to, Ray, uh, and then subsequently was uh, able to join our special operations unit and spend some additional years there before uh, departing after nine years and transitioning into the IT services and cybersecurity industries. Awesome. Um, that is an incredible experience. And, and again, thank you, Boris, uh, for your service. So, of course, today is uh, November 11th, and every year on this date is Veterans Day. Um, we'd like to ask you uh, what your thoughts are on um, what people should know about Veterans Day, and, and what do you think are some good ways for all of us to show some support and recognition? Sure. So in terms of what it is, uh, Veterans Day is a federal holiday here in the United States intended to honor all veterans who have served honorably uh, in the armed forces. But it has a history, actually, in Armistice, Armistice Day, excuse me, uh, which was a day that was uh, marked to honor the veterans of World War I. And so this is a tradition that goes back to 1919, actually, in commemoration of the ending of the war in 1918. Uh, and as a result, it actually uh, has led to observances and holidays in other countries as well, particularly in the British Commonwealth, but also in, in non-Commonwealth countries. And so uh, in recognition of that historical fact, and also the fact that here at Tripwire, we're a global company, and we actually have veterans not only of the United States Armed Forces, but uh, some other countries as well. We want to, of course, acknowledge that and take the uh, time to honor them as well. In terms of how we can honor veterans, uh, that's a great question. I would say uh, there are several ways to do, to do that. First of all, just simple acknowledgement and thanks expressed is, uh, is very much appreciated, and I can speak to that as a veteran. Uh, keeping in mind that uh, the perceptions of what military service must be like very greatly among the population and also the actual experiences of each veteran can vary greatly from others. And so being open to hearing about their experiences and uh, asking questions is, al is also appreciated. And finally, I think uh, supporting and donating to organizations intended to support veterans is, is also very important. Recognizing that uh, service members uh, carry uh, the cost of the physical and psychological burdens of military service, particularly in times of armed conflict. And we have just emerged from a, st a sustained period of that. And so being able to support and take care of our veterans in that way is also very much appreciated. All right. Thanks for that advice. Um, we'll for sure be uh, taking that to heart as, as I uh, interact with various uh, veterans in, in, in my community and, and throughout Tripwire. Um, so, uh, Kind of, I guess, do we call it transitioning into the civilian world? Uh, you've had a very successful career um, since serving, and, and we're lucky to have you here at Tripwire as, as a tremendous leader here at the company. 
Um, how has your experiences as a veteran played into your career and your time in, in the tech and cybersecurity industries? Yeah, that's a great question. And thanks, Ray, for your, your generous comments. I would say that uh, there are some tangible and intangible skills that are developed throughout uh, the intensive training process that we go through uh, in the military that transfer into other sectors and other types of work. And uh, the cybersecurity field is, is no different. Uh, chief among those being an emphasis on leadership development, uh, the ability to adapt quickly and learn new skills. In other words, learning how to learn. Uh, and of course, being in a national security and physical security oriented environment like the military uh, fosters and inculcates a certain mindset and appreciation for security considerations that particularly when it comes to information security and security of critical systems and critical infrastructure uh, can parlay itself into, uh, into, the, into this field, uh, albeit the technology is different, uh, cultural considerations can be different and so forth. But I think those have all been very helpful. And I was initially made uh, able to make the transition because I was hired at a company that valued that background and, and provided the room for me to personally and professionally learn and grow. Fantastic. And like I said, we're really lucky to have several colleagues at Tripwire, um, awesome colleagues at Tripwire who have veteran backgrounds like yourself. What do you think are some qualities that set veterans up for success? Yeah, right. That's a great question. Uh, I would identify the following attributes as common across much of the military experience in terms of values and attributes that are emphasized, inculcated, imbued, if you will, throughout the training process and reinforced culturally throughout one's entire service, uh, including the following. Uh, one is a mission mindset, and by that I mean uh, a adherence to or a uh, focus on getting the uh, on accomplishing the mission on getting the job done and understanding what that mission is and, and driving toward it and so we uh, have veterans that are very much kind of looking for what is the next mission and then once that mission is identified they're very much focused on getting it done uh, that's a very important attribute uh, second i would identify team orientation uh, military service is inherently a team sport and learning how to collaborate with and work closely with other individuals from very diverse backgrounds, but within a, um, within a uh, common task orientation and a mission mindset uh, is an important set of skills that can be brought to any team. Uh, there is also a bias for action. It's something that's routinely emphasized throughout military service. And so uh, this idea that we don't want to get caught in uh, analysis paralysis, right? We want to get things done is very, uh, very important. Uh, and I would identify two others. Um, grit is very important. Uh, some of you have may have read uh, Angela Duckworth's uh, book on this topic, but uh, she identifies this as obviously something that is uh, highly emphasized in military service and I think can be brought into any workplace. Uh, and then finally, adaptability and learnability are very important. And so when we take these qualities, uh, those can be applied in just about any industry, any company, any team, any organization. And I would encourage uh, employers across the board to really consider that. Um, a resume from a veteran may not look exactly like uh, a typical resume of somebody who has already been working in the field, but they may bring some of these qualities that in the long run will uh, pay dividends for the employer and uh, adds and enhances the overall success of the team. So I would highly uh, encourage uh, hiring managers and team members to consider this. That makes a lot of sense. And, and I know that we are super grateful to have veterans here at Tripwire who bring that unique set of skills and, and knowledge to the company here. Well, Maurice, I want to thank you for sharing your thoughts and, and insights as we honor those who have served and, and continue to serve. Uh, we are grateful for your service again, and, and thank you to all the veterans at Tripwire and beyond. Thank you for your service. I hope that you all have a wonderful Veterans Day. Great. Thank you, Ray.